Now, if this is a situation you find yourself in and you keep scratching your head and don't know what's going on, stay tuned to the video. As you can see, guys, trying to load a game and it's just stuck on this loading screen and it just won't budge for love nor money. True Gamer here and I'm back with another episode. Okay, I decided to do a quick video because it can be a bit confusing to get these ROMs up and running on this emulator. Now, the N64DD is an absolute relic in the gaming world. And what it was, it was a magnetic floppy disk peripheral for the Nintendo 64. So basically, it was an add-on like the Sega CD and it just gave the machine some more enhancements. So first thing you're going to need is the 64DD BIOS file. I will leave a link in the description so you can just download it to your computer and just get started straight away. So what you see on the screen now is the 64DD bin file. Now what you want to do guys is create a folder and label it IPL.64 just like the one you see on my screen and just drag your bin file into it like so I've already got a replacement so I'm just going to go skip and then once that's in your folder you have your BIOS file ready to rock and roll now you're going to need to get your games but there's a trick to this for every 64 dd rom you're going to need a double but one of the roms is going to be in a dot dd format like this one this is a dot dd format as you can see and the other one i've got is going to be a dot z 64 like this so the ROMs are going to have the same name, they're just going to be in a different format. So what you want to do once you've got your two ROMs of your choice, you want to so create case, a folder. My ROM is called F0. I'm going to create a folder called F0 X. And then you want to put dot NDD at the end. And that's very important. That's a must. A must do there and guys you simply put both of your ROMs into that folder you have just created so you should have two folders looking like this one with your bios and one with your games so now we have them two folders we can now proceed with the next step that will be on the Steam Deck. Okay, so once we're on the Steam Deck, now you can put your ROMs in wherever your 64DD ROMs folder is. For me, my one is in the ultimate organizing application, which is Emulation Station. So yeah, since my all my ROMs are in Emulation Station, I will just open Home, go to, I won't go to .var, we'll go to Emulation here, click on it, go to ROMs, find my 64DD folder, and then from my external drive, I will just copy them into this folder right here, the, the 64DD folder. So that's that done. Now we got to do the major thing and that's getting the BIOS into the MuPen Plus 64 system application. Yeah, so what you want to do for that, you want to open the Dolphin Farm Manager. Now I'm using RetroArch and that is the best thing to use. So I've got to find the MuPen Plus 64 emulator inside of my retro arc now to do that i'll go home i'm going to var 
then I hit the app and then it should be somewhere here where I will scroll down and find retro arc and there we are there we have it there retro arc so you want to click that folder then you want to go into config you want to go into retro arc and then here config again and you should find the MooPen plus 64 emulator and there we have it there you go so you click here now with that file you want to drag it into the system folder now don't put the folder in as you see here I've just dragged the single file that's all you need to do the single file which says 64 dd underscore IPL in just drag the single file in there and then that should be it on that section now we want to open retro arc itself so now we're in retro arc you want to load core find the moo pen emulator which is somewhere down here there you go that's the emulator click on it go to subsystems from subsystems you want to load n64 disk drive find where your rom is uh yeah miles here roms 64 now i'm going to load the f0x file so once you load it click on it it will bring you back to subsystems hit subsystems again go to launch 64 and now you should see your um the dot n64 file instead of the dot ndd file you click on that again and once you go back into subsystems your game is ready for takeoff so you click on it right now and it should solve you're stuck on loading screen. And there you have it, your game is now ready to play. Problem solved. Let me just give you a quick glimpse of it running in all of its glory. You can notice the improvement in the visuals. For some reason it wasn't letting me use my my controller. So I'm using the, the Steam Deck pad. So yeah, there you have it guys. Your emulator should be no longer stuck on that loading screen. Okay, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.